Hi, welcome to Fusion Beads. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create our stone and leather bracelet set. This set includes three different bracelet designs using leather, metal, and beads. And you can stack them all together, or you can also wear them individually for a more simple look. To make this bracelet, you're going to need four of the eight millimeter and three of the 12 millimeter twisted hole spacer beads by Tiracast six of these eight millimeter lava stone round beads, 14 of the eight millimeter black stone round gemstone beads, and five of these eight millimeter Bayong round wood beads. You're also going to need one of these 22 millimeter antique silver base metal plain magnetic clasps, and then one of these base metal ball chain connector clasps that'll fit with this 16 inches of the four millimeter black enamel steel ball chain. Then you're also going to need one crimpy cover, two feet of the 0.5 millimeter natural light brown round leather cord, and then five feet of the 1.5 millimeter black round leather cord, 12 inches of this 0.8 millimeter black stretch magic elastic cord, and then wire cutters, scissors, and super new glue. You can find all of these product links in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off and I'm gonna show you how to make the beaded stretch bracelet here. So to start, you want to cut your 12 inch length of stretch cord. And then you wanna do seven of these black stone beads. And then, after you have those seven on there, you just want to add a spacer bead. And then three of the lava beads. Okay, another spacer bead. And then five of the wood beads. And then you're just going to do the same as this side here, down on the other side. So add your spacer and three lava beads. And then that last spacer and then those last seven black stone beads. Okay, so once you have all your beads on there, I'm making mine about an eight inch length, but you can make yours whatever length that you need by adding beads or taking some away. So just use your tape measure, just measure it out. So this is gonna be about eight inches. That's what I'm looking for. And then to knot it, you just wanna do a square knot. So. Do one knot and then another knot. And just bring that together and then down and then pull tight. Then I like to do that another time. Do another square knot. Bring it down. Pull tight but not too tight. Then one more. Okay, so and there you have your nice knot all secure. And then at this point, I just like to take a teeny bit of the super new glue. And just do a teeny little dab right on the knot. And then let that dry.
You just want to cut the tails of your cord. Okay, so I went ahead and I let the glue dry for about 10 minutes just to kind of set it up. Um, for the strongest hold, you're going to want to allow it to dry for about 24 hours. But I just want to add the crimpy cover and then I'm going to let it dry for the complete 24 hours before um, you wear it. Okay, so to add the crimpy cover, you just want to put that right over the knot. Okay, so the knot's just right in there, inside that crimpy cover. And then I'll just take some chain nose pliers and just kind of bring that crimpy cover, those, bring those ends together. And that's just gonna create a little silver bead to make it look nice and finished there. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for another 24 hours for the glue. And that is how you make the one bracelet from the set with beads and stretch magic. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to make the braided magnetic clasp bracelet. So to start, you want to cut six 10 inch lengths of the leather. And what you wanna do with those is you just wanna have all the ends, just bring them all together and line them up. And you just want to kind of hold them in place with your thumb. Make sure it's nice and even. They're all just lined up side by side. Okay, and that's going to be what goes into the clasp here. So it's going to sit just like that. So what we want to do is just add a little bit right inside the clasp. Just want to add some of the glue. Okay, and then make sure these are nice and lined up. Then you're just going to want to place them right inside there. Okay, and you just want to set it down. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry for about 10 minutes so then I can start working with it. Okay, so I went ahead and I let the glue set for about 10 minutes. You just wanna kinda of give it a good tug, make sure that the leather cord is in that clasp nicely. Okay, so then from here, we're gonna to wanna to just braid down about four inches, a little bit less um, before we add the beads. So it's going to be eight inches with the leather. So you want to go to about the halfway mark. So you just want to separate into three sections with two pieces of cord in each. And you just want to start braiding down. Keeping your tension Nice and tight, making sure that the, the leather is side by side, not overlapping. And then as you do this, you can kind of pause and just work it through, kind of stretch it a little bit. Just nice and even.
Okay, so let's see. Where we're at at this point. It looks like it's a little long, so. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. It's almost right where it needs to be. Okay, so then at this point, you want to add your three beads. Just hold. Hold the braid together, your fingers, and then take the other end here, bring those all together, and you just want to string the bead through all six strands of cord. Okay, and just bring it down, nice and snug up against your braid. Okay, and then you just want to separate the cord again. Okay, and then you just want to continue the braid for another four inches. See where it's at now, and just kind of run your fingers through it. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay, so it's about the same length on both sides. So now you just want to hold this end nice and tight with your thumb, your fingers, and you want to line up cords right at the end. You take your scissors, I'm leaving a little bit of room because this little bit of cord on the end is going to go inside the magnetic clasp. Just want to cut all of those, same length. Okay, and you bring your clasp, and again, few drops of glue inside the clasp. Just add the cord right in there. Okay, just push in and make sure it's all in there evenly. And then we're just going to let that whole bracelet set for about 24 hours before wearing it. Now you have the braided magnetic clasp bracelet for your set. Okay, and so next I'm going to show you how to make the leather and ball chain bracelet.
with the Vaulting Connector Clasp. So to start, you want about eight and a half inches. of your ball chain. And then the second piece of ball chain needs to be three of these ball lengths less. So you just want to line them up and just cut it so it's three less than the top one there. Okay, so then once you have your chain, so you can make it really any length you want, but just make sure one of the lengths is three of the ball lengths less than the length of the bracelet that you want. So then you take your two feet of leather cord and you just want to find the center. So bring the two ends together. And just find that center point. Okay, so then you take two pieces of ball chain and you want one link on the outside there and then the rest of them are just going to kind of fit in between each link here. So to start, anchor your cord. Just going to take that center point and you're going to cross. Just want to keep the tension tight. Cross those cords. Okay. And then we're going to take one, the cord that's coming from underneath. Just going to bring it up and between the links, the ball, the ball chain. It's going to cover the bar part. And you just want to do that. You have to do it about three, five times with one end of the cord. Making sure your tension is nice and tight. Okay. Then you hold that in place. And then you want to bring your other cord that's going from the top down and you're just going to go between those bar lengths and zigzag down okay, until you get to the other end and that's just going to create that fun Little zigzag leather between the ball chain. Okay, so now I just hold that in place and then I start again with that first end of cord that I was using and again just go between between the balls of the ball chain. down three to five. Okay, and then hold it in place, keeping that tension tight. And then just take the other cord and zigzag down. trick here is just to really kind of take your time and just make sure you keep that leather cord nice and tight. Again, one end. Hold that in place. And then just bring the other end zigzag down. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this until I get to the end, keeping it nice and tight. And I will be right back. Okay, so now you can see I've made it to the end. So I put that along the whole two pieces of ball chain. So when you get to the end, you're going to have your pieces will be coming out like this. So you just want to tie a square knot. So you just want to bring the ends together. I still like to keep my tension really tight, so I still try and hold it with one hand. Just try and knot it with one. Okay. Pull tight, but not too tight, because you don't want to rip the, the leather cord. Okay, and just want to tie a square knot. Okay, so then once that knot is on there nice and secure, you just want to take a little bit of your super new glue, dab it right on the knot. You want to trim the ends of the leather cord as close as you can to the knot, but not directly on it. Leave a teeny bit of a tail. Okay, and then you want to just add the connector clasp. So one end, this longer end of the ball chain here. Place that right there, and you're just going to bring this end and go to the other end there. And so with that knot still drying, we're going to go ahead and leave that for about 24 hours before you actually wear it. But there you have your leather and your ball chain bracelet for the set. Alright, so now you can see you have your three bracelets for your stone and leather bracelet set. So you can wear them all together for a fun look, or you can also just wear them individually. You can find all of the tools and materials to make this set at FusionBeads.com.